How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Group Mike here. Today we are going to make a case against twin engine aircraft, more particularly light piston twins. Now full disclaimer, everything I'm sharing in this video is based on my biased opinion. It's biased because I'm a single engine pilot, but a lot of it is also based on fact. And I understand that there are a lot of pilots who are going to watch this video and some of them twin engine pilots. And I want that because I want you to please share your feedback as well. So twin engines, if you are either an enthusiast or say, for example, you are brand new and just starting your journey in aviation. And perhaps you think of one day graduating from a single engine airplane to a twin piston twin. This is generally the trend where you have pilots start out with a, a low entry single engine fixed landing gear aircraft. And then as they continue to grow or climb the ladder in their pilot rating, you get your instrument. Generally, you want to get your multi engine and that's how you graduate into the twin engine category. But is it necessary? That's what we want to talk about today. Let's go back to the very inception of light twins. When you think of this category of aircraft, the thought behind having two engines is you'd have more and better performance. Again, you have two engines. Twin engine aircraft, you have a more capable aircraft. These are the, the benefits that you would think about. A more capable aircraft, it's heavier. Generally speaking, you can carry more load, so more useful load. You can fly higher. So now that you have two engines to propel you to altitude, you can fly at higher altitude, even fly over the weather. What that also means in many cases with this category is you have a pressurized cabin. So unlike a lot of light piston or just generally piston engine airplanes where you need external oxygen to be able to fly at a high altitude in a piston twin you may have a pressurized cabin and then you can also travel farther so you have a longer range uh, in a twin and this has been the argument as to why you should buy a twin or fly a twin now the numbers don't always support that because in this day and age, in 2022, you now have a lot more single engine aircraft that can match those same performance. In some cases, outperform a light twin. This is what I mean. Let's look at the numbers. For starters, a twin engine aircraft generally will be more expensive. Even an older model, you'd be paying more up front to buy a twin engine aircraft than you would a single engine airplane. And your cost doesn't automatically stop there. Your operating cost for a twin engine will also be more, in some cases exponentially more than a single engine airplane or single engine piston airplane. Let's be specific about the words. Okay, so we're, we're sticking to piston here before we graduate even to turboprop. So in a single engine piston compared to a twin engine piston, the cost is higher to buy and also operate. Remember, you now have two engines, which means you have to operate two engines. So one engine may burn, say, 15 to 20 gallons of fuel per hour. Guess what? Double the fuel burn. You have your second engine also burning the same amount of fuel. Now, again, you can't fly higher and possibly go longer range, but you're going to be burning a lot more fuel to get to those destinations. And also maintenance. When it comes to your maintenance, let's just say the, the typical maintenance for all airplanes, which is your annual. An annual on a piston can get really high because again, you have two engines to worry about instead of one. And not just having two engines, generally speaking in a twin, you're also flying a complex aircraft retractable landing gear, and you have more things that need to work together to operate that aircraft. What that means, more parts that can break. And when your annual comes, it means more money to be spent. And so your maintenance cost is going to be higher in a twin engine aircraft. And also your insurance is going to be higher on a twin engine aircraft. Now let's talk about the safety record. It's a common belief that having two engines is safer than having one. So you may have a pilot gravitate towards a light twin with this notion that when something happens or if something were to happen with one of my engines, I always have a backup engine for redundancy. Well, the numbers doesn't show that. As a matter of fact, the numbers show 
the opposite. Over the years, when you studied the accident rates of light twins and the fatality rates of light twin, it shows that compared to a single engine airplane, you are up to four times more likely to have a fatal crash in a twin engine airplane compared to a piston, a single piston engine airplane. Some may even argue that in a case of an emergency, when you're flying a twin, your room for correction is a lot lower than when you're flying a single engine airplane. Also, it's been shown that there's a correlation between accident rates and maintenance when it comes to twin engine airplanes. So if you were to be flying a twin, do not skimp on your maintenance. I believe this should be the case for all category of airplanes, but for whatever reason, in a twin engine, you have a more direct correlation when it comes to maintenance and fatality rates. So it circles back to the notion that when you're operating a twin engine aircraft, you may have double the trouble because more things can go wrong. So why would anyone in their right mind want to fly a twin engine aircraft? Well, as I said in the beginning, there are some benefits to flying a twin, but it will cost you more. No matter how you bake and slice it, it's gonna be more expensive in a twin. And for safety reasons, it's not safer. I just need to bust that myth today it's not safer to fly a twin compared to a single engine aircraft. So when you see pilots who fly twin, it could just be that that's what they like and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. If a pilot has a preference for twin engine, then boom. Also, again, if it meets their mission, good. Now, I do wanna say this, knowing myself as a pilot and a lot of other pilots, generally speaking, I would say as much as 80 to 90% of the time, when you own and operate your own airplane, you're the only person flying. So if you are looking at a twin today and you thought to yourself, well, I need an airplane that's more capable, I have more useful load, where I can carry my family members and friends and go on a trip, well, I hate to break it to you, I want you to think hard because chances are, you will be the only person flying that airplane most of the time. So having the capabilities is one thing, but meeting your mission is another. And it just doesn't make sense to spend all that money and you being the only single solo pilot flying all the time. So that's something else I wanna put out there. If you're looking to buy or get into a twin, understand that it will cost you more in all cases and it's not necessarily a safer option. And that is my case against light twin aircraft. I don't think that the cost of value makes sense. But again, that's just my biased opinion. I don't fly a twin, but I'm curious what you think, especially if you are a twin engine pilot, please leave your comments below. I want to find out from your perspective, what is the actual true value of flying a twin? Is it worth it? Is it a matter of just your preference or did you buy and operate one because you want the capabilities? And if that's the case, are you actually making use of all of that capabilities? Leave in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, my name is Mike. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe with the notification bell on and also, Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I greatly appreciate it. Consider also becoming a premium member. Thank you guys and I will catch you on the next video.